All right, welcome back. We're still building our workout planner and we're gonna add a little title to our um, workout planner. So before it said like Monday's workout, we're gonna do that right now. So actually I made a mistake. We're gonna erase this div element and we're just gonna keep a regular div. And then we're gonna have an H1 that says Monday's workout. Let's see how this looks, boom, boom. We're gonna do style, oops, jeez. So style, and then we're gonna add this of a text decoration, underline, and see I'm getting an error because I forgot to pass in a JavaScript object to the map. Um, a JavaScript object to the style. All right, now it's time to build, we're gonna to wanna to build three columns. So, um, to hold our workout sets and reps. So at first, I'm just gonna do div, um, class name, we're actually, this is when we want to use the styling. So we do style, and then we're gonna do over, uh, map, we're gonna do overflow, Hidden. And then this wrapper is going to hold all of our columns. So it'll make sure that um, if we pass in too much text, the overflow hidden property will hide that. Um, so that way we don't have our container spilling everywhere. Now we're going to work with a component. We're going to do touch. Well, let me see what directory I'm in. So touch. Let me just cd the source, cd source. Okay, now we're going to do touch. You can just create a file manually if you want going like this. My uh, tree directory is obviously gonna be different from yours. We're gonna do um, workout call.js. See that pop up right here. And we're gonna create a function. So we're gonna import react from React. Did I do that wrong? Oh, it's like that. So, import React capitalized from React folder. Sorry about that. And then we will do function workout call return. Boom, boom, boom. And for now, we're just gonna use uh, static data. So we're gonna do a div. And this is actually gonna have a class name of workout dash call. And I am going to just do an H3, H3 tag. And that is just gonna be lift. So right now, we're gonna do this. Call our workout call. We need to import it. Import, oh, I actually have to do this. Export default workout call. So this just makes the work, this function, com functional component available in our other files. Then we have to import workout call from the folder it's in. And we'll do that three times, boom, oops. See what our app looks like. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get these to align next to each other. And we can do that with the float property. So I come over my styling and the class name was dot workout. Did I have a hyphen in there? I did. Workout dash call. Um, so float left. So the float left property just gets the um, elements to line up next to each other. So we'll take a look at what that looks now. Boom, boom, boom. 
So this is obviously not that great. We need to add some spacing in here. Let me take care of that for you. Let me do margin, zero, 1.5%. Now when the margin is a percent, it's talking about the, it takes the width of its parent element and that's how it calculates the percent. And we're actually gonna give each of these a width of 30%. And do overflow wrap. I hit the wrong key. So overflow dash wrap. Break spaces. We're gonna uh, we're gonna align our text to the center. Oops. So text align center. What does this look like now? Boom, boom, boom. So we've aligned our three columns right here. So there's no there's no point in having these, you know, there's no point in having lifts statically. The reason we use components is so that we can dynamically render things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our um, workout call component accept some props. We'll do that like that. And our props is going to be tall. Our first prop is gonna be called title. So we'll do props.title. And then we're gonna just do this. We're gonna do title equals lift. Sets. And then our reps. So we've got a functional component. It is now dynamic with props. You see it looks much better now. Um, and I don't know what I'm at for time. So in the next video, we are going to learn how to map data to components. And we're gonna deconstruct. In the video after that, we're gonna use the deconstruct and spread operator on our components. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Corey's Corner podcast and this YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.